This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. In the math prompter.java, ah, yes, we have seen this guy. Write the method prompt for number to prompt the user to enter a number and return the entered number. Make sure to close the scanner object. All right, so we've seen this a few times at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and, well, I'm going to do system.out.print. And again, guys, I'm going to do print and not print ln. And the reason for that is I want the user's input to be next to the request. So enter a number. I'll just do a colon. It's kind of up to you how you want to format that. And then we need to make sure to ask the computer to grab it. And how do we grab it? Well, we're going to use our instantiated uh, scanner class, which is named input. So input dot. And what type of number is this? It's a double. And so we've seen this before. Next double blah 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 now keep in mind guys if you forget you can always go to documentation and look at the scanner class in this right there okay that being said boom boom now i need to assign this a variable and so i'll just do a double num or number or whatever you want user input and now i need to make sure to close up the scanner class or, or the instantiator scanner class input dot close because that's the name of our scanner class now i don't want to return zero of course i want to return the number we just grabbed from the user all right now let's get to some of the different stuff write the method get square root to return the square root of the parameter number using math dot square double a okay great and so i'm gonna do int uh wait nope double double and I'll just call this, I guess I'm going to call the result square. Uh, maybe that's not the best. Mm, root. Yeah, it's up to you. You could just say result. I'll say result. Big decisions being made here. I don't think it's not that big of a decision. And then I can do the call for this method directly, right? Because math is, uh, and it's, the math methods are static. So I can just directly use the math class and say math.square. And what value do I want to square? It is this. It's the parameter that is passed number. So math dot square root, or so what number do I want the square root of? The number. Now I need to make sure to return not zero, but my result. All right, this is looking great. Let's give it a shot. And here we go. Let me do four for now. Yeah, square root. Okay. Let me do 4.2 just to mess with this. Looking good. And then let's do... 25.1 and just to test some of this let's do 25.1 here in my handy dating calculator and square root it yep looking good cool onward